Hey yo, what is up YouTube? This is Andrew or Mr. Grego here, back with my second ever blog, blog, vlog, <laughs> on this channel. So basically, what we're doing in this vlog is I am going to be walking to Irvine. Yes, you heard that right, walking to Irvine. The thing is as well, like, it is it's only, like, say, six or seven miles from my house, so I think Walking there is very doable. Um, I've got my route uh, sorted out, um, got everything planned and such. Uh, <laughs> yeah, can't wait for it. It's going to be very interesting. So this is the route that we're taking today. Uh, obviously, we're going to go for the quickest one. It takes two hours and, well, nearly two, hour, two and a half hours. Um, so basically what we do is we go down this country road here, then we get to Knock and Tibur, and then... Like, we just go down, like, the, the National Cycle route, basically, until we get to Orvin. Also, fun fact about the Cycle route, it actually used to be a railway line, um, which actually got torn up, I think, in the 60s. So, yeah, the more you know it, <laughs> you still can actually see, like, like some of the sleepers and, like, the kind of, the railway kind of, like, it, the, like, the, it is still kind of there, just there's no, obviously there's no trains about. <laughs> So basically what I'm going to do is, on this walk, I'm going to time it, see how how long it takes me to get there to my destination. And um, yeah, I'm just going to just be vlogging different kind of interesting bits along the pathway, like I said, because it was an old railway line. So yeah, should be exciting. It's looking like quite a nice day. Now we've come to this kind of side road towards Knock and Tibur. You can finally see Knock and Tibur in the background there. So we've come to the cycle bit route here. Only thing is, I have to go up all the way up that slope there to get there, so there's a good chance I'll fall on my ass. <laughs> Let's hope that doesn't happen. So we're now coming up to one of this, what would have been one of the old stations on this route. I noticed that the bridge has been renovated, and I actually kind of like this version a lot better, given that it used to be arches and uh, an arch bridge, and it used to kind of freak me out a wee bit. <laughs> and also, like, there was a sign saying like. Do not feed the bears. Oh no, there it is. <laughs> also in the distance over there is like an old railway bridge that takes you like, that used to take you to Dorai and stuff. Like there used to be a railway line that would connect Kilmarnock and Dorai, which is pretty cool, not gonna lie. So right, you know how you've got like signs saying like, welcome to East Ayrshire or welcome to North Ayrshire or welcome to like Renfrewshire or somewhere? Well, um, the cycle route doesn't actually have that, so it's just trying to guess, like, <laughs> where, like, the divide is, if that makes sense. It's definitely that tunnel. That tunnel is definitely the, the divide between uh, East Ayrshire and North Ayrshire, in my opinion. I don't think I've ever physically walked to North Ayrshire before. Like, I've cycled there, but I've never actually walked there, so it's a first today. <laughs> Honestly, like, some of the scenery around this bit here is just gorgeous, man. Also, just to let you know, I didn't actually deck it back there. <laughs> I know, I think a lot of you would be disappointed with that. <laughs> oh, you didn't deck it. <laughs> Sorry, not today. It's coming up to Springside now. You can just imagine, like, the train announcer being like, we are now approaching Springside. <laughs> In an alternate universe, maybe. <laughs> But yeah, this is just coming out the springside now. But yeah, according to the route signs, it's now five miles to Irvin. I thought <laughs> it's funny because like when I was at Knock and Tibur, it said it was like five and a half. So must have been out. That would have only have been half a mile, which didn't really make sense. But oh well. I really dread to think how that goat car got here. <laughs> it makes me think though, like, cause I know that this railway line. Um, get pulled up about 50 years ago but imagine if it was still in service like do you think that this cycle route would exist because i had this like idea like if it was still like 
in service that like, I can imagine like the cycle route and like the railway line kind of you know running together if that makes sense I don't know but yeah coming out to drag on now or if you want to be really air sure it's pronounced dragon dragon these nuts apparently I've still got four miles to go okay I'm not gonna lie, I really should make a song titled Dragon These Nuts. <laughs> and that's one for the second album. This one says it's three miles to Irvin, so I'll believe this one. <laughs> also, I think it's around here as well where Drekhorn's train station was. Oh, nearly. Nearly there. That's what I keep telling myself at least. That's been about an hour and a half since I left the house, so. Yeah, <laughs> not too bad. Approaching over now. Still got a bit to go though. Tell you this though, I should sleep tonight. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna just cut through the town and just finish off at KFC basically and see what the time finishes on. <laughs> uh, I'm really not far, like that's just about over there. So I'm doing it. But yeah, we are officially done now, officially walked all the way, uh, KFC is literally just a few yards away, and yeah, <laughs> can't believe I did it, first time for everything, I'm gonna go and now get some well-deserved scran. But yeah, this is what I need now, some well-deserved scran, get in my belly. I can just say that this has definitely been quite a unique experience. And I just can't wait to do it again. So I am here with Mr. Callum Fraser himself, aka the bassist from Chartreuse Addiction, aka Bass Boy, aka Disco Biscuit. Uh, Callum is currently playing a uh, flight simulator game. I should totally play it, even though I've never played it before. And you have you played to to Berlin? I know, but you did most of the work though. And here is this little madam as well. Her name is Crypto. Hey Crypto. Just like Perro, she's very meowy. So Callum, where should I walk to next? Co winning. Co winning? Mm. Yeah, I could do. Or Trun. I like Trun's like if you're on like if you're on that national route it's like eleven mile, in fact even more than that. Probably about fifteen mile. Well the co winning route you are done the same route. Yeah. You know, you know, just, just cut through Teggy Park. Aye. I could do a co-in. What's the thing about doing, like, Golston or somewhere like that? Mm, watch it for Golston as well, don't we? Oh, aye. This is Ziggy. Ziggy is my doggy. Say hello to the camera, Ziggy. But anyway, folks, I am back home now. I am going to have a, a long lie down because I've walked actually nearly 12 miles today because I actually walked up from KFC to Callum's house and then KFC back down to the bus stop and then from the bus stop and come on back up to my house. So, yeah, and <laughs> quite the day of walking. I'm just going to lie down. But if you want more stuff like this, but I'm planning on doing more long walks, so stay tuned for that. And it's been your boy Andrew or Mr. Grego. Take care and peace.